What's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing a real trauma assessment with a real IMA student. This is a great learning opportunity for you if you're an EMT student or if you just want to brush up on your NREMT style trauma assessments. Keep in mind this is an NREMT style assessment, so it's going to be very structured top to bottom, and this is a real student going through the assessment. So follow along and see if you can catch what's going on with this patient. All right, so you are a medic three, and you are being dispatched to a single family home for a 42-year-old male patient uh, that family reports is uh, not acting normal. How old was the patient? 42, 4-2. All right, not acting normal. Okay, so BSI, I'm gonna make sure the scene is safe. Scene is safe? Scene is safe. Okay. Uh, Number of patients? Just the one patient. All right. Uh, this is a nature of illness, uh, maybe a some sort of mental episode. Um, so I'm going to call for ALS just in case I need ALS. Um, I'm going to consider C-spine even though I don't think I need it right now. Okay. Uh, what is my general impression? What do I see when I walk in? Uh, you arrive on scene, you find the patient, he's laying on the couch in the living room. Okay. He does not acknowledge your presence as you walk up to him. All right. Um, okay, so is he alert to um, verbal stimuli? Uh, show me how you would do that to check. That. Okay. Um, hey, hey, are you okay? You okay? Um, I'm going to pinch his... Um, uh, this is called. I'm going to pinch his shoulder. Okay. Um, uh, a trap pinch uh, makes him moan a little bit. Okay. His eyes flutter open, All right. uh, but only when his uh, the, the stimulus is being applied. Okay. So, A and O times zero. Okay. So, alert to pain, A and O times zero. Um, chief complaint. Uh, we cannot obtain one right now, but we can ask the family members, um, you know, what seems to be wrong with them. Uh, family members say um, that he was in uh, an auto accident about an hour ago. Okay. And so he came home. He said maybe his, his stomach hurt a little bit. He came home, uh, but he thought he was fine. Uh, went to lay down on the couch to rest. He said he was tired. And they went to check on him a little bit later to see if he was still okay. And he, they found him, like, to find him here. Okay. So do I see any apparent life threats when I come uh, up to the patient? No, nothing visually that you can see at this point. Okay. Uh, I'm going to inspect his airway. Um, is it patent? Yep. Do I notice any secretions or anything? No. Nope. Okay. So I'm not going to suction the airway because I don't think I need to. Uh, how's his breathing rate, rhythm, and quality? Okay. He's breathing... Um, 24 times a minute, uh, normal rhythm and normal quality. Okay, so 24 times a minute. Um, I'm gonna put a nasal cannula on him at four liters of oxygen per minute, just in case. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move on to circulation. I'm gonna look for any bleeding. Uh, no bleeding noted at this point. Okay, I'm going to check his pulse. How is his pulse? Rate, rhythm, and quality? Uh, pulse is thready okay. uh, and rapid. Okay. All right. Uh, how's his skin condition? Uh, skin is pale and cool. Okay. Okay, uh, so GCS, um, I'm going to give him a three okay. because he is um, unresponsive completely. Uh, I'm going to expose the patient. Okay, so let's go ahead and get him exposed. Okay. Cool. All right, your patient is now exposed. Okay, I'm going to immediately transport this patient as a high priority. Okay. Um, so now that we're in the back of the ambulance, I'm going to get a full set of vitals. I already have the respiratory rate of 24, so I need a SpO2. Uh, SpO2 is 
Sorry, SpO2 is 95% uh, since he's on the nasal cannula. Okay, thank you. Uh, end tidal CO2? Uh, end tidal CO2 is 40. Uh, I want a glucose reading. Uh, glucose is in normal range. We'll call it 100. Okay. Uh, I need a heart rate. Uh, heart rate is 122. And a blood pressure? Uh, blood pressure is 86 over 40. And a temperature? Uh, temperature is 98.0. Okay, so I'm now going to move on to my second physical assessment of the patient. Okay. Um, I'm going to start by palpating the scalp, okay. looking for any obvious bleeding that I missed before. Uh, I'm gonna check the ears for cerebral spinal fluid and blood. Do I see anything? Uh, nothing found in the ears or on the scalp. Okay, I'm gonna check his eyes for pearl. Um, are they equal and reactive to light? Pupils are equal, but a little bit sluggish. Okay. All right, uh, I'm gonna check the mouth. Um, do I notice any new blood or secretions? Nope, nothing found in the mouth. All right, I'm going to check the neck for JVD. Uh, jugular veins are normal. All right, trachea placement? Trachea is midline. Cervical spine? Uh, nothing found on palpation. Okay, I'm going to move down to the chest. Okay. Uh, first, I'm going to palpate for any deformities. Okay, nothing found. All right, and then I'm going to auscultate. Uh, he has clear lung signs bilaterally. All right. Um, you said patient was complaining of abdominal pain, so um, do I notice any distension or anything? Okay. Abdomen is found to be rigid and distended. Okay. Uh, and you notice um, some discoloration uh, in the general abdomen. Okay. Um, all right, noted. One sec. Uh, All right, uh, I'm going to pause my assessment here and treat for shock. So keep them supine, obviously. Uh, keep the patient warm. Maybe uh, up the oxygen on the nasal cannula to six, just in case. Um, uh, do I need to, I'm going to move on now. Do I need to inspect the genitalia? Uh, that's up to you. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to move on to the left leg. Uh, I'm going to palpate, looking for any obvious deformities. Nothing found. Uh, I'm going to check C or capillary refill in the toes. How is it? Uh, it's delayed. Delayed, okay. Um, obviously, I can't get a sensory response because he's unconscious, so I'm going to move on to this other leg. Palpate, look for any deformities, contusions, abrasions. Nothing found there. Okay, uh, same thing, other leg, cap refill. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, now I'm going to move up to the upper extremities. Okay. So looking for deformities, contrusions, abrasions, lacerations, checking cap refill in the left arm. Uh, same as the legs, cap refill is delayed, nothing else found. Okay, uh, I'm going to do the same on the right. Any cap refill or uh, how is it? Same as the left arm. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. So now I'm going to have me and my partner, uh, my partner is going to stabilize the head while I roll the patient over gently, palpate the rest of the spine um, and the lower pelvis. Do I notice anything? Nothing found. Okay. And then I realized I forgot to check the pelvis okay. at first, so I'm going to palpate this and look for any um, fractures in the pelvis. Do pelvis I see is stable. Okay. Um, so I think the patient has some internal bleeding or a ruptured hollow organ in the abdomen. Uh, going to transport faster, going to reassess every five minutes. Um, starting now, what are my new vitals? Uh, uh, no, no change on reassessment. Okay, so I'm just going to transport fast and hope for the best. Okay. And um, that's everything. Great. Um, okay, cool. Uh, you did really great.
Um, the only big thing that I have is I would have liked to see you talk about uh, shock treatment a little bit earlier. Okay, yeah. Because um, you got down the ABCs, uh, you heard that his pulse was thready and rapid. Yeah. Just that should key in like, yeah. this is a shock patient. Yeah, I had it in my head. I should have verbalized that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you, you, you loop back and you caught it. Um, and you're doing everything else correctly as if you were treating for shock. Yeah. So I would have liked to see that earlier. Uh, GCS score you were a little off on. Yeah. Um, so you gave him a three. So that would be no verbal response, no motor response, and no eye response. Slow eye response. Um, yeah. So we he had eye response yeah. to painful stimuli. So yeah. remember the eyes are just AVPU. Yeah. So that would be a two. And then we said he moaned uh, when he pinched his trap. So that would also be a two yeah. uh, for incomprehensible speech and then no motor response. Um, so that would have been a five. Okay. Um, but that's that's just a point off. That's not a big deal there. Um, yeah. Your secondary was really good. Um, you missed the pelvis initially, but when you rolled him, you remembered you need to yeah. have to look at the pelvis. Um, so that's good. You recognize what was going on with the abdomen, with the rigidity. You said that uh, you suspect that there's some internal bleeding, yeah. um, which makes sense You know, after uh, an auto accident. That, yeah. that kind of thing can happen. So. Your spot on there. Um, yeah, I think you did really great. Um, just make sure we're thinking about shock early. Yeah. Um, but you, you treated you treated with transport uh, early. You recognized that it was an immediate transport and you managed that. So yeah. you're already going to the right place. So uh, yeah, I thought you did really well. Did Good I job. pass? Okay, everyone, that was a trauma assessment. Hope you learned from it. Make sure to check out our other videos, follow us on social media, and we'll see you on the next one.